Hi everybody! Welcome to Carol's Art Room. Today's video, I'm going to do a bloom on this octagon canvas. Looks like it's about 10 inches round. I'm going to try and do a couple of different colors for my pillow paint and some purples and magentas. So I hope you will like it and uh, come and watch me do it and see how it turns out. Okay, everybody. So I've got some uh, off-white paint that I'm gonna use. And then on this side, I'll use my yellow. Oh, you have some yellow. out to the edges. I had a blue I was going to use, but it was too thick. So I didn't want to have two that were different thicknesses or I would have one would have blown out okay and one didn't. I already tried that. It didn't wasn't good so you, they have to be the same pretty close to the same consistency Okay, so I've got permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. I've got a metallic purple. They're almost the same, so I probably actually I have. I think I'll use that instead. I have um, Lavender Frost. Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Lavender Frost. And I have some gold, my deep gold by Amsterdam.
And I have Pearl X Magenta. Let's hope I have enough. Let's add a little, little bit of water to this. And then I have a <clears throat> golden quinacridone magenta. here. I'm going to use Payne's Gray Cell Activator. I'll give it a stir. I always like to stir my uh, cell activator first. All right, so let's put some colors down. Oh, this is a nice color. Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. I think I'll put some of this pink Perlex. Okay. I think I'll put the gold. It's gone a bit thick on me.
Okay, now my favorite color. These are mixed with my pouring medium and the recipe for it is in the description under the video. Lots of other things in my description under the video. There's recipes, or cell act, different cell activator recipes, links to a couple of different videos, um, tutorials. I have over 900 videos if anybody's interested. Let's go to Carol's Art Room and uh, you'll see a lot of my videos, all different techniques. I really enjoy doing these. Just drizzle a little bit of the I'm going to use my blower and I have to be careful not to blow it too hard. Oh, that's a lot of black. All right, here we go. Cool setting. So pretty. Oh, I love those colors. That was nice putting the dark purple on the top. It kind of, I think it made it more, some more contrasting. Otherwise it was, the dark was all underneath. Wow, it's beautiful. I just love these blooms. All right, I'm going to give it a spin.
I guess it doesn't really matter what you put underneath because it usually disappears. Usually disappears. Those are the colors I had on hand. I'm out of pretty much out of my white. I have to buy some more white, but I buy some mist tints. It's good to use for a base as long as it's an eggshell paint. I'll go the other way. Should have drawn some lines. This is worthy of the wall. Oh, just love it. I wasn't going to paint. I came down here to video a dried result. And I just remembered that I mixed up some new paints yesterday. So I thought, oh yeah, I can use my new paints. Next thing you know, I'm painting. It always happens to me. It always does. Because I'm addicted. I think I'm addicted. There, look at that beauty. Wow. Doesn't need anything else. No more spinning, nothing. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at those cells in the middle. Beautiful. The color combination. Awesome, and you know what? It looks lighter in my camera, or sorry, it looks darker in my camera and lighter in person. So we'll see how it dries. I think hopefully it'll I think it'll dry nice. enough that should do it I'm gonna lift it up and see if it moves at all I think it's pretty good I hope you give me a thumbs up for this one please subscribe if you haven't already and come back to Carol's art room I'll put the dried result at the end. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Came to see my dried painting. It dried pretty nice and smooth. Only problem was the middle moved a little bit. So my cells are a little bit more wonky but it still looks gorgeous I think it was my velvet paint so I'm out of the velvet no more velvet paint so I think it slides plus there might have been a little bit too much paint left in the middle I guess I could have spun it a little bit more but I love how it dried it's got a nice little shine to it 
There you go. Have a good day, everybody. Come back to Carol's art room. Bye-bye.